in the MPN field in general, there are a lot, lots of potential novel approaches for patients. And, and I think for myelofibrosis, um, we have got, you know, interesting data for the other JAK inhibitors, momolotinib, pacritinib, fedratinib, with evolving data coming with this agent. But we really, most of us think that um, combination is probably a way forward in the field, be it combination with a JAK inhibitor and a better transplant, or be it JAK inhibitor plus another agent. So I think the main ones of key interest here really are um, pelabresib, um, parsiclisib, uh, Navita Madeline, and um, also uh, Navita Clax. So I think MDM2 inhibition probably doesn't get enough discussion at the present time, but it, it is very interesting. And there is um, both the Cartos agent and also Ciramadlin um, being taken forward at the moment by Novartis in studies. And I think these are important agents, but we need to understand how to use them because they do cause quite a lot of gastrointestinal toxicity for patients and dosing, whether it's an on-off dosing regimen, for example, uh, needs to be very carefully finessed. But if we're thinking about other strategies, I think vaccination strategies, by specific antibodies, uh, checkpoint inhibition plus minus, those are really interesting. And I also think we mustn't forget the exciting data that's probably brewing with um, the uh, telomerase inhibitor, imetostat, and um, also bomodemstat and its activity in the kind of ET, MF, and then possibly PV setting, as well as targeting hepatitis pathways. So much going on, it's quite hard to keep your head around all of it, actually.